Hello everyone, Manikisun here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This one's actually going to be a new kind of video. Today is going to be a tutorial video on how to make a hat like this one in Minecraft and how to put it in. First we're going to discuss the requirements. The first requirement is to have the application called Blockbench. Also you need a way to open notepad files and JSON files. I recommend using the notepad that's already installed in your computer depending on what computer you have or you can use notepad plus plus. And also another thing that you're going to need is Optifine and the Minecraft. And that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial, shall we? Alright, the first thing to do to make a hat is to open up Blockbench first of all. And then we're going to go to the Minecraft section right here and click on the button that says java block slash item click it create new model and right here where it says file name we're going to name it whatever we want but keep it uh, lowercase and no spaces and if there is a space put an underscore so for example we're going to do uh let's say uh new underscore hats boom now we're going to press confirm and we're going to go into the block bench grid right here. We can make any hat. I recommend you going with your own style, but if you want, you can follow along with what I'm going to do. This hat is going to be a normal one. It's going to be like a top hat that I showed you earlier. So I like to keep my stuff organized. So to start with the organization, I go from layer to layer. And the first layer on the top hat is the base of it. So we're going to create a new folder and call it base. Once that is done, we're going to press the new cube button. And we're going to make it the appropriate size. I recommend going with a size like this. So it looks sort of circular, but is not circular. And here we are. Boom, there's the base of our top hat. And now we're going to create a new section called, well, the tube. This is going to be the tube of the top hat, like how this one is here. Like how this one is here. Like that. And now we're going to create a new cube and we're going to put it in here. We're going to keep a nice direction of where it is. So we don't want it here, but we want it pretty far away, but not too far away. And we want it to keep it the round shape that it is right now. So since it can't be here, we're going to move it here and create another cube and put it here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to extend this until right there. It looks like it's going to be three cubes, so we're going to keep that like that. And now we're going to do it again over here, three cubes, spacing. And now an easy way to do this is you can press Control D to duplicate this block and move it over here. And do it again with this one. And boom. Now while that's done, we can increase the height so to whatever you like. You can increase the height such like this. You can go all the way high if you want to get really creative <laughs> or you can keep it nice and low. For this tutorial I'm going to keep it at least 9, the size at a 9. And there it is. And now you can see that there's a hollow space. Well, to avoid this problem, we're going to have to delete this cube right here. And we're going to extend it to where that cube used to be. And boom, now we have a solid hat. And that's pretty much it to making the hat. But we don't want to keep it like this. If we do, it will show up a missing error, a missing texture error, and it won't work out as correctly. So what we're going to do is press Control A and select all the cubes that we've made and press Create Texture. 
and rename this to hat or whatever you like. Press confirm. And there we go. Personally, I don't like this way how Blockbench UV'd this one. But we're going to work with it. And there it is. And now we can go to the paint section and paint it however we like. Since it's a top hat, we're going to make it a nice classy one. And we're going to just fill everything so it's black. An easy way to do this without just having to spread the, the fill bucket is by just going into the UV and coloring everything in with the rectangle tool. And now it is quickly transforming into the color of our liking. And right there, don't forget the tiny little spaces. Right here. Right here. Right there. Right there. And right there. Boom. Now everything has been covered and we can shrink that back to how it was. And now it's just a plain old hat. There's not really that much design or texture to it. It's just a plain color. So we're going to do that. We can add any color, another color, and that's a nice bright one. I'm going to go with yellow. And we're going to draw a line all the way through the hats. And we've made it to the end. Now we're going to do the same thing to the bottom and to the middle. Now we're going to fill in the middle. And boom. Now we're done. You can stop here if you'd like, but I don't really recommend it. I recommend you actually putting more texture into it. So we're going to press the color picker tool. And we're going to choose a nice darker color. And we're going to put it on the towards the brim of the hat to make it have a nice darker shade to it. And we're going to color all the way around the whole thing. And right here, we don't really have to color it with a pencil. We can fill it in since it's a one by that many. I'm not going to count it all right now. But here we go. And don't forget little tiny spaces as we want this to look good. And if we miss a texture, it could have an error and it, it won't be it's your liking there we go we're missing some things right here right here now we don't have to do the bottom but i like to so we so it doesn't look weird and there we go the bottom is complete now that's all i'm going to do for this hat but i'm going to add so, some little details like into the ribbon Right here, make it darker in the middle. And there we go. That's it for the hat. You can do whatever you want. You can model it. You don't have to be like this exactly. If you get your if you have your own model, that's good. And I'm gonna show you how to actually make it into a functional hat. And to do that, we're gonna go into the display function right here. And here we go. And we don't want this big hat in our way, so we're gonna shrink it down to our liking. Uh, it doesn't have to be super super small, but it doesn't have to be super big. That's a good size. And to not go back and forth, back and forth, we can press the copy tool right here, and then press the paste tool. Also, if you want, you could use the presets that Blockbench already gave you, gave you, like the block. I recommend using this one as it's more vanilla style, I guess. And over here, you can do the same to get it out of your way. And over here is the nice and fun part on putting it to your character. To put it on your character, you can drag it up here and find where you would like to put it, like there. But I recommend putting this, changing this manually to 14.25. This is so you can have a nice uh, nice area 
and so it's not too big. You can also change the size if you want, if your hat is very small or very big. Also, here's a little different spot. I don't really know how to do this, so the presets will really work here, and we can press the block one to make it nice and small, the size of a block if it was a block. Now here it is. I want to be. I want to make this also decorational, so we're gonna rotate this until it's at negative ninety degrees, and now we're gonna move it up until it's at negative eight, and there we go negative 8. You can make it big or small if you'd like. And here's the GUI. I recommend putting the default block as it's really hard and then you can move it up in the middle. And boom. It's pretty good. Now we're not done. We have to export the, we have to put this into the game. So before we save this model, we're going to go to sorry about that. We're going to go to the desktop and we're going to press, we're going to right click it right here, and we're going to press a new folder. And we're going to name this whatever we want. Let's just say hats. And now we're going to go in here. Once we see the hat, I don't really remember how this goes. So we can go to an example of an old texture uh, pack that I have. And it's also hats. And here it is. We're going to copy this right here. But if you want to do this manually, here's how you do it manually. We create a new text file. Like this. And rename it to pack. And press and go where it says txt and highlight that and make it mc meta. This is so it can detect it as a, it, that is a texture pack. Now, since I already have this one, we can go in it. We want it to end up like this. And now the space right here is one, two, three, four, five. Five spaces. And then it has to be like this exactly. Right here, it changes depending on what version you're using. Since I'm using 1.19, we're going to make this a 9. You can put whatever for the description. It can be anything. I'm going to change it for new hats. Save. And we're going to press new folder. And we're going to call this one assets. We're going to go in the assets folder and make a new one called Minecraft. Go into the Minecraft folder. And we're going to have two new folders. We're going to call this one Optifine. We're going to call the other textures. We're going to go into the textures folder and you can put it here, but I like to make a new folder and call this block bench or whatever you want. And now that it's there, we can go back into block bench and save this hat file. We're going to press the little save icon right here. We're going to go into the desktop, look for the folder that you made and go all the way assets. Minecraft, Textures, Block Bench, and then press the Save button. Boom, you're done. Not really. And now since that's in there, we can check it to see if it's really in there. There it is, that's our texture. We're going to go back to the Minecraft folder and go to Optifine. We're going to press it and let it load. Press Model. We're going to make a new folder called model. Go into that folder and make a new folder called item. Items, several items. Boom. 
there we go. Now we go into here, and you can see there's nothing in here. Now we're going to go into Blockbench. We're going to press File, Export, Export Block, Slash, Item, Model. And we're going to go into the folder, Optify, Model, Item, Save. And now it's saved as a JSON file. That's how we want it to be. And we can see everything's correct here. What is happening? What in the... Okay, um, this is not good. What is... Okay, I'm sorry about that. Very, very sorry. And I forgot what we were doing. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Give me a second. I should really better prepare. I'm sorry. This is my first tutorial video and I'm not really good at giving tutorials. I'm going to go. I'm going to use this template that I made, Wardencraft, for another server that I'm in. Okay. I did something wrong. We're going to go in, back into the Optifine folder. We're going to press a new folder. And we're going to call this CIT. And then we're going to rename this models folder to models. Several models. Drag it into the CIT folder. Go into the CIT folder. Also, you can see that I put it under the block. We're not going to do that. We're going to put it under the items, which is a mistake I did in that texture pack. And I quickly learned. And there we go. And now we're going to go into the folder. We're going to press new text file. And we're going to call this the same thing as we have it here. New underscore hat. But the file, the file is going to be properties. Oops. Uh, missed an I. There we go. We're going to press yes. Now we're going to go into it. And if a pop up shows up that's saying, What would you like to open this with? Open it with Notepad. Okay. Now that we're in here, we're going to type type <laughs> equals item. And we're going to type in match items and we're going to make it a carved pumpkin so we can wear it and we're going to write it like that since it's the game's recognition of the carved pumpkin make a new line call it model equal and the name of the file so new underscore hats dot json now we're going to make a new line nbt dot display dot capital n to name and equal and we're going to call this whatever we want so we're going to call this new hats like that it can have a space if you want now we're going to press the x press save and there we go but we're not done here what do i mean by that well if you were a normal minecraft pumpkin it will have a blurry vision onto it. So to remove that vision from the, the game, we're going to go into the textures file. And we're going to call... And we're going to go into... We're going to create a new folder. Sorry. And call this M-I-S-C. And now we're going to... I'll include this in the description where you can download the pumpkin blur file and we're going to paste it into here. And boom, now the pumpkin blur is in there. I'll include all the examples so you don't have to, 
in the zip file. You're going to unzip that file so you can have the assets folder and the pack MC folder and also the pumpkin blur. You'll have everything in it except for the JSON file and the texture file. Now, once we're done, we're going to press the X on here since we are already done and we're going to drag the hats folder. I'm going to put it in resource pack. And now if this error happens, which happens a lot, we're going to press X. We're going to go in here into the hats folder and we're going to, we're going to select everything. Now we're going to copy it and press X. Now go into your resource packs folder. A way to get to here is press windows R and type in percent app data percent slash i think that's backslash or something like that dot minecraft and that'll take you to the minecraft folder and then you're going to press the resource pack folder and now since that error happened we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this one hat and since it's going to have nothing we can go into this hats folder right here that we've already made we can cop the contents in here Close out of this one and put it into the empty one. And boom, there you are. Now we're going to go into Minecraft, press Options, Resource Packs, and scroll down until you see the folder that you just made. We're going to press the arrow button so it can be applied. Press Done. And now we wait. Since the with the powder the power of editing you missed the whole loading screen because it was a lot so now you're back into the game what do you do now well you go grab a carved pumpkin and take it to an anvil you put it in the anvil and we're going to call this new hat the hat that you we're going to call it the name that you called it and now we have a hat boom you can put it on your head if you like and there you go. Now you made a hat in Minecraft. So that's pretty much it for this whole video. There's, I bet you there's better ways to explain it than how I do. I try to explain it the best I can. But if you like this video and want more block bench tutorials or other custom model tutorials, please subscribe and like and let me know in the comments below. Also, today is the release of my new Discord server. So check that out as it's now in release and maybe you can suggest something that you want me to do. Alright, that is the end of this video. Take care.